Hello, Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. But today, we bring you updates on the unfortunate events. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Donald Sutherland, the venerated Canadian actor whose career spans seven decades, has died at 88. Born July 17, 1935, in St. John, Canada, Sutherland began his acting career with small, unnamed roles in British television before landing small parts in low-budget horror films, including 1964's Castle of the Living Dead and 1965's Dr. Terror's House of Horrors. His breakout role was in Robert Aldrich's The Dirty Dozen, and he achieved further success as Hawkeye Pierce in Robert Altman's 1970 war comedy Emma's H. He went on to star in hits such as Don't Look Now, Animal House, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, JFK, Six Degrees of Separation, The Italian Job, and Pride and Prejudice. He also played the Hunger Games series antagonist, President Coriolanus Snow, across the franchise's original four films. While Sutherland was never nominated for a competitive Oscar, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences honored him with an honorary statuette at the 2017 Governor's Awards. Sutherland earned both an Emmy and a Golden Globe for his role in the detective drama Citizen X and an additional Golden Globe for the HBO series Path to War. Sutherland is survived by his wife Francine Reset and his four children, including fellow actor Kiefer Sutherland. Tribute to the Star Brigitte Bierlein was born on June 25, 1949, in Austria. She was an Austrian lawyer and the first woman to be the president of the Constitutional Court and the Chancellor of Austria. She served as Chancellor from June 2019 to January 2020. Beerlein was also the country's chief public prosecutor from 1990 to 2002 and was on the executive board of the International Association of Prosecutors from 2001 to 2003. In 2003, she became a member and vice president of the Constitutional Court. After the Ibiza affair, President Alexander van der Bellen appointed her as chancellor following a vote of no confidence that removed Sebastian Kurz's first government. She was the first woman to hold this position until the next government was elected on September 29, 2019. Beerlein died at the age of 74 after a short illness. Tribute to the Star Dag Erik Pedersen was born on June 6, 1959, in Norway. He was a professional road racing cyclist with a long career. Pedersen won three stages in the Giro d'Italia and finished fourth in the road race at the 1981 World Championship. He was a member of Birkenes IL and previously raced for Larvik SK and Grenland SK before turning professional in September 1981. Over his 12-year career in Italy and the Netherlands, Pedersen won 43 professional races. He also won the Norwegian National Road Race Championship in 1992. After retiring from cycling, he worked as a news anchor for the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation and won the Best News and Sports Anchor Award in Norway in 2002, 2004, 2005, and 2008. Pedersen spoke fluent English, German, Italian, French, Dutch, and basic Spanish. He died from a stroke at the age of 64. Tribute to the Star Brother Marquis was born on April 4, 1966 in the United States. 
He was an American rapper and a pioneer of Miami bass music. Born Ross in Rochester, New York, he moved to Los Angeles, California, with his mother during his teens. In the early 1980s, Ross started making music with his group, The Cautious Crew, and caught the attention of DJ and producer David Hobbs, Mr. Mix, because of his battle rap skills. At the time, Hobbs was part of Two Live Crew, a group that had just created the Miami bass sound and was successful in Florida. When a member of Two Live Crew left, Ross joined the group. His sense of humor fit well with the group's direction. Along with Hobbs, Christopher Wong Wan, Fresh Kid Ice, and Luther Campbell, Luke Skywalker, they became the most famous lineup of the group. In 1986, they achieved success with their gold-certified debut album, The Two Live Crew Is What We Are. Brother Marquis died at the age of 58, and the cause of his death is unknown. Tribute to the Star David Soule, the actor from the popular 1970s TV show Starsky and Hutch, died at age 80. He started with small roles in I Dream of Jeannie and Flipper, then starred in the Western comedy Here Come the Brides from 1968 to 1970. From 1975 to 1979, Soule played Kenneth Richard Hutch Hutchinson alongside Paul Michael Glazer's David Michael Starsky in Starsky and Hutch. Besides acting, Soul released five albums and several hit singles, including the 1976 rock song Don't Give Up On Us, which reached number one in the United States. Tribute to the Star Glynis Johns, who played the suffragette mother Winifred Banks in the original Mary Poppins, died at age 100. The British actress was personally chosen by Walt Disney for the beloved 1964 musical, which starred Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. In the movie, John's character sings Sister Suffragette. John's was nominated for a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for The Sundowners and won a Tony Award for the original Broadway production of Stephen Sondheim's A Little Night Music, where she performed Send in the Clowns. Tribute to the Star Petter Nome was born on July 18, 1954, in Norway. He was a famous Norwegian TV personality, journalist, and organizational worker. Nome worked as a news anchor on Dags Revian and hosted various weekend entertainment shows. In 2002 and 2003, he strongly opposed the Iraq War and started the Hello America campaign, urging people to email American media and political leaders against the war. This led to conflicts with NRK, resulting in his removal from Sommeropent in 2003 and his resignation from NRK. He then became the director of communications for the Norwegian Refugee Council. In 2006, he returned to NRK to work on Frokos TV, which was cancelled in 2008. In 2009, Nome became the managing director of the Norwegian Brewers and Soft Drinks Producers. He died at age 69 from cancer. Tribute to the Star Tom Bauer a prolific character actor known for his roles in TV series like The Waltons and movies like Die Hard 2, died at 86. Born in Denver, he became famous for playing Dr. Curtis Willard on The Waltons, joining as a regular in the fifth season in 1975 and staying until 1978. Another notable role was as Marvin, the janitor in Die Hard 2, who helps Bruce Willis's character defeat terrorists. Bauer also appeared in Out of the Furnace, Crazy Heart, Nixon, Pollock, Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call New Orleans, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Criminal Minds, Bosch, and Lucky Hank. He was a strong supporter of SAG-AFTRA and co-created sag Indy. Tribute to the Star
Rosalina Neri was an Italian actress known for her work on stage, television, film, and radio. She was born on November 12, 1927, in Archisate, province of Varese. Her acting career began in 1954 with the musical comedy Tobia la Candina Spia by Garinè and Giovannini. She gained public and media attention for her role in Marcello Marchese's RAI variety show Invito al Sorriso. Because she looked a lot like Marilyn Monroe, she was nicknamed the Italian Marilyn Monroe and often called Marilina. While filming a TV commercial in England, Neri met conductor Jack Hilton and they began a long romantic relationship, having a daughter named Angela. Neri mainly worked on stage and collaborated with well-known figures like Giorgio Strehler and Umberto Simonetta. She passed away in Milan, Italy, at the age of 96 from natural causes. Tribute to the Star Actress Shannon Doherty has been open about her cancer journey for years, sharing updates on Instagram and her podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. Now 52 and battling stage 4 breast cancer, Shannon recently mentioned on her podcast that she's simplifying her life by getting rid of many of her belongings to help her loved ones after she's gone. Shannon's cancer journey began in 2015 when she revealed she had breast cancer. She sued her former business manager for not paying her insurance premiums, which she said delayed her diagnosis and treatment. According to her lawsuit, her cancer spread in 2014 when she was uninsured, and if it had been caught earlier, she might not have needed chemotherapy and a mastectomy. Her former manager, Tanner Mainstein, denied these claims and said they didn't cause her to be uninsured or prevent her from getting care. The lawsuit was settled in 2016, but the details weren't made public. Shannon confirmed her diagnosis after the lawsuit became public. Despite everything, she told People magazine that she was staying positive, eating well, and exercising. In May 2015, she had a single mastectomy as part of her treatment. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.